personally love drinking oat milk or almond milk and I've been buying it from the store and I thought why not just buy a nut milk maker so I went and I got this one BHG and I'm going to show you how to make the almond milk it does come with a little recipe book and I'm gonna be following that let's just check out the machine real quick this is the color that I chose it has other colors it has white it has black not really sure but I'm gonna put a link below and you can check it out to see what other colors they have uh, basically it comes with a lid and it comes with a like a standard plug this is what it looks like in the back with the plug it came with two nut milk straining bags so there's a 200 micron and a 100 micron those are optional and it does say that on the recipe that you can strain it if you want to and then it also comes with a one tablespoon measuring so for the almond milk it says to use two tablespoons of raw almonds so i'm going to take the lid off and i got these ones from blue diamond um just says almonds they're supposed to be raw almonds not you know roasted not salted nothing so raw almonds two tablespoons that seems like a very small amount i even got a uh it says a tea a tablespoon of maple syrup honey or a pit of date i am going to go with honey and this is a raw honey put that in there like that It also says a quarter a teaspoon of vanilla extract is optional. The sweetener is also optional. You don't have to use the sweetener. I usually just put the, um, the honey straight in the machine without measuring. I don't know. I wanted to be official, but now I've got a mess. I'm not going to measure. I'm just going to pour. That, a pinch of salt. And then a cup of water. And it does have a thing on the inside that says minimum and of liquid, a minimum amount of liquid. I don't know why the recipe doesn't even go up to the minimum amount. It seems to be fine. So I'm going to put this on here and I'm going to put it on crooked on purpose. Plug it in. The cord is rather short. Uh, I would say that's probably about two feet. Plug that in. And then it's going to give an air message of E2 because the, the lid is not lined up right. So I'm gonna correctly line it up and then I'll get the double lines here. And then from here, I can pick the timer mode. So for the milk that I'm doing, I'm doing room temperature, which is the first mode right here, and then press start. So let me set it down and it's gonna start. It's gonna be a little noisy. The machine does start and stop so it will go really loud and then it'll go down and it'll come back up. See how it kind of went down, coming back up. Okay, looks like it's all done. So I'm gonna take the lid off and we will see the consistency of this. Now remember, I didn't blanch the almonds. I didn't remove the skins or anything. Check this out. So from here, I can either strain it if I want to or not. I'm gonna try it. Let's just try it. Almond milk. I mean, it's, it's delicious. I don't normally drink almond milk or oat milk just straight. <laughs> not my thing, um, but you could drink it just like this if you wanted to. You could refrigerate it. I prefer to use it in the things that I'm using them for. So I'm using them in these Revive Superfoods um, smoothie. So I'm using that as my base is the almond milk. Usually you should fill this all the way up and it looks like there's just enough. So that is perfect, perfect for this guy. And I didn't have to do that. I'm just demonstrating this. Pour it back in my little container here. Now this has um, pumpkins and bananas and all that stuff. And I'm gonna blend this up. I'm gonna use the GAN, the same um, room temperature option. It does have other modes, so it will do, let me plug it in so I can see here. You can select the mode, so room temperature is one of them. I can't really, I don't know if I can really see that. There's tepid, there's warm, there's hot, there's boil, 
There's auto clean, keep warm, and sterilize. So when I'm done, I'm gonna use auto clean. So let me go over back to room temperature and blend this thing for five minutes with my smoothie ingredients. Okay, and that is done also. So I'm gonna take this, pour it into my cup, and enjoy it as part of my lunch. But before I do, I'm gonna clean it real quick. So to clean it, you just add a little bit of soap and water, plug it back in, and put it on the setting that says auto clean, which takes about two minutes. And then when it's done, unplug it, obviously, and then go rinse out the soap because it's all sudsy and stuff inside. One thing I would say as a negative about this machine is the plug itself. You cannot submerge this. You, you know, I really try to not get this side wet at all, so that can be a little bit challenging. But other than that, this machine has been great. Um, I'm, I'm loving it. I love the color. I love how versatile that it is for me. And I'm going to put the link to this below. I'm going to put a link down to where you can try the Revive uh, smoothies if you like. I'll put a drink to this cup. Um, and that's, that's it for today. All right. Thanks. Bye.